stunning day. HMP Wandsworth has had more than its fair share of criticism. People are still alleging there was an escape last year. Listen, a lad got out. Cat B establishment. Cat A, high security state. Nobody's getting out. Unless, unless they have help. And I'll explain that. Cat B establishment. Nobody's getting out. Cat C, a little less security, but nobody's getting out. Cat D is an open prison. You have gone. So let's go back to Wandsworth. Yeah? Three types of security. You've got physical Dogs, razor wire, walls, gates, fences. Then you've got the critical one. Well, there's two critical ones for a prison to be safe. You have got procedural. That lad who escaped last year got out of Wandsworth because procedures weren't followed. If you follow procedures, vehicle vehicles entering the establishment will be searched escorted, supervised, searched, and allowed to leave the premises. In order to do that, you need the staff. The staff need to know what they're doing, and they need the equipment to search. All those, quite definitely, weren't in place. That's no fault of the people who were left in those positions. Dynamic security, the third, is staff prisoner relationships that made prisons for me safe yeah conversations you have gathering information just talking building relationships sorting problems out for people it made it safe dynamic security so wandsworth has just had an in prison inspection it didn't fare too good. And no prisons are faring too good. Again, spotlight on Wandsworth because of the inspection. They're on about going into special measures. Basically, that means it's on its ass. It's not performing. The governor, a young lady, resigned during the inspection. There's talk of putting more staff into Wandsworth. I'll tell you what that is. It's not experience. They might get a little bit of experience. But as a whole, there's none in the prison service. What they're going to be doing is using detached duty, people from, duty, people from other prisons, people who don't know Wandsworth, don't know the staff, don't know any of the prisoners. That's all they can do. There's nothing spare. There's no, like, squadrons of prison officers waiting to jump into action. Drugs. Rife. You know what? I could, I could actually do a prison inspection without going in. Self-harm on the rise. Violence on the rise. Inexperienced staff. Drugs on the rise. It's dead easy being chief inspector of prisons now. All you do is do your report. Every prison's in decline. Some are worse than others. You give it a grading, right off to some minister and say, you need to look at this. And away you go. Wandsworth, a minister who used to work there, started a petition. The thing is, about these jails, these old jails, they're in a state of disrepair. That doesn't help. I did notice that London jails, per head, prisoner population, are some of the cheapest, some of the cheapest at keeping people. Why would that be? They're in London. London's expensive. I'll tell you why I think. I think because they're massively overcrowded, massively underfunded, no budgets, and they've got no staff. The staff-prisoner relationship ratio costing... There's no way a London jail, it should be cheaper to keep someone cheaper to keep someone in London jail rather than any other jail in the country. They're on their ass. So what can we do to help? Well, we're gonna we're gonna use the early release scheme and we're gonna use Operation Safeguard. Safeguard 
is where we use police cells. Yeah, they're an extension. It's not ideal, is it, keeping people in police cells? However, that's what they're going to do. The early release scheme being described as a shambles. Every low-risk prisoner, for me, should be on that early re release scheme. Every single. There's low risk, medium risk, high risk. Get them out. Get them out. Get the prisons empty. The police cells, it costs an absolute fortune to use them, to run them. They're not ideal. So get those low risk out. They've already said probation, probation service, same as a prison service, yeah, underfunded, not recognised, stress, low staff numbers, can't recruit. The probation aren't going to monitor people who are getting out. That's fine. Low risk. I don't really care. When we're talking about monitoring people when they get out of prison, that's you relying on them to turn up to probation appointments. You're not monitoring them. You're not around their house. You're not checking on them. They're not tagged, all of them. However, there's prisoners I want tagging. You know the sort. Sounds like Speedo, the swimwear. They should all be tagged. Tag them forever. Yeah? Terms and conditions when they leave, license conditions when you leave prison, should say keep away from schools, keep away from parks, keep away from everything else. Human rights, they don't have human rights. They have breached children's human rights. Theirs are gone. They're done with. Wandsworth, I feel sorry for the staff. Anyone who's gone through the last two years there will be under the cosh. Stress, sleepless nights, maybe using chemicals, drinking, definitely. It's not a good place to be, is it? And it's not their fault. So, yeah, not a good inspection. There is no good inspections anymore. One or two prisons, postcode lottery might be doing better than others. Wandsworth, again, under the spotlight, under the cosh. The only way they're going to support that prison is from or by taking resources from elsewhere where they needed. Because it's in the spotlight, maybe get a good governor from somewhere else. That'll leave his establishment on its ass with some second grade person taking over. There are no or there aren't many good managers anymore. There's no experience. People less than two years in the job being promoted to prison governor. That's not good. The whole industry, probation, prison service, Crown Prosecution Service needs stabilising. Somebody needs to take control for the next 20 years or at least a decade, put plans in place and start working towards a goal. If you're going to build a prison, if you're going to build a prison, a big one, it needs to be a supermax. Stop using that term. We don't have supermaxes in this country. We have big prisons. Supermax run with minimum staff, minimum prisoner contact, put the most violent individuals, the worst prison population, put them somewhere, electronic gates, electronic everything. Give them a shower in cell. If it kicks off, you know, if they're fighting amongst themselves, you go in when it's safe. It's not like that now. The prison service now is flat on its ass. There'll be one or two who've got some nuts, yeah, got some bottle who are putting themselves at risk every day while others look on. Them that are looking on are in the wrong job. I'm not having a go at them. I'm having a go at the people who've been employing them, people who've lowered standards. It needs someone to review the whole criminal justice system. But any new prisons, any new prisons need to be electronically sound. And let's crush, let's crush this mobile phone issue for once and for all. Modern technology now, and we can't stop mobile phone signals. Come on. Just going to leave it there, guys. If you'd like to support the channel, link in the description. Thanks for your continued support. Try and get some vitamin D. God bless you all. 
Thanks for coming. I'll sit it. Real points. Real points. Real, points. Real people. Real, people. Real, stories. Real stories. Real points. Real points.